Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It's time for tea. Sit down, relax, have a cup of tea, maybe try a tea you've never tried before. Now today's tea is something I have tried before and I'll tell you about it here in a second. Uh, what I'm wearing today, this is the Summer Breeze tank top that was designed by Cinnamon Stitches. Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches did this last year. This is not her this year's pattern. Um, thought I'd pull it out. Don't worry, this is just eczema that I'm dealing with. It's all good. Um, but <laughs> it's warm in here today, so I'm wearing the tank top, but I'm still drinking a cup of hot tea because of course I am. It is still steeping at this moment. This is showing that I'm a cat person. Sorry, no clear mug today. Um, the tea that I'm going to be having today though is a flavor that I've had before, just not by this manufacturer. This is English breakfast tea. It's a black tea by Ahmad Tea of London. Let's see what the handy dandy card has to say. By the way, I received this tea uh, via a subscription box that I purchased. It's by Sips Buy, and Sips Buy has a tea subscription. You tell them what you like, what you don't like, and caffeine levels you like and everything, and they put boxes together for you every month, and I think that's a lot of fun. I pretty much tell them all the things, I'll take all the things with all the caffeine levels, I wanna try everything. So here we go. And I did end up with one that I'd had before, which is still kind of cool. This one, this English breakfast tea, one bag per eight ounces of water. Yes, my mug is larger, so I do let it steep a little bit longer because, well, I don't have any mugs that just hold eight ounces. Let's be real. 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 100 degrees Celsius, which means boiling water. Yes, you don't have to worry about temperature too much on this one. It says steep five minutes. It is Assam, Ceylon, and Kenyan black teas. I can tell you it smells lovely, by the way. High caffeine, bonus. Uh, Ahmad Tea is a British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection. I feel special now, um, including Buckingham Palace. Well then, wake up with a quintessential British cuppa, it says. Okay. I just love English breakfast tea. I've always loved the blend. There's the beep. Let it go just a smidge longer while I sit here and wait. It's gonna to be too hot to drink anyway. Y'all know me. I have my sweetener here and I'm ready for it. And yes, you did see a clothespin on the side of my mug there because no matter how long of a string they put on, no matter how well I tie it around the handle uh, with the little tag, inevitably it will slip into the mug for me. So I've been doing this for a long time. I just use a clip and I clip it to the handle or to the side of the mug. Give it a few more dunkaroos there. Let's see if we can see what color the tea is because my mug even has brown in it. It is a nice black tea color. It is not too terribly dark. It is not too light. This seems like a decent cup here. Okay, now let's give it a sniff. Mm, does smell lovely. I love a good cup of English breakfast. That, that's my go-to tea. If I just say, fix me a cup of tea, just in general, without specifying anything else, this is what I go for. I have a big container over there of tea bags for it. So, yeah. You're rustling around the kitchen that is other folks getting ready to sweeten their said teas because I didn't just brew one cup because, no, of course I didn't. I brewed enough for everybody. All right, got to cool it off enough to take a sip. Because boiling water, yeah. It's a nice tea. If you're thinking of having a cup of tea, this is what you're expecting right here. No ifs, ands, or buts. And it says you can drink it sweetened or unsweetened. Let's say on the back here. Yeah. From the back of the of the little uh, sachet here. A classical blend of fine teas, which characterizes the traditional English cup of tea. Although usually served in the morning, it can be drunk at any time of the day. Well, obviously, I'm doing this in the evening. Uh, served with or without milk. Now, I'm not actually going to use milk when I add that portion to mine. I'm, I have friend, my usual French vanilla creamer because I find that a little vanilla helps everything out. All right, now I have another taste with it unsweetened. And at times, I do drink it without sweetener, so. Now, 
That's nice, but I think that a little sweetness actually helps bring out the tea flavor better on this. What I'm sweetening with is uh, the Aldi version of Stevia. Just your gentle, generic stuff. Put it in there and mix it around. That's nice. It's very, very nice. But gotta add some of this which I'm almost no I'm not out of I have another jug of it in the fridge so okay here you go I know you're waiting you're not waiting for that okay oh the hand says thumbs up <laughs> a cup of English breakfast is always welcome pretty much any time of the day or night when you just need a cup of tea all right I've added my sweetener I've added my vanilla creamer There are times when this is what gets me going in the morning because sometimes, most of the time I have coffee, but my coffee is a, I drink mocha macchiato, okay? I don't drink like just straight up coffee. But tea, English breakfast, cat person, because I am, isn't that cute? Look at all the little kitties on there. They're just adorable. Yeah, they're adorable. I got this at, um, five below that's where I got this one couldn't remember but yeah English breakfast tea if you're someone who has never tried tea before which I know there have to be people out there who haven't and you want to know just what the quintessential cup of tea is get this variety there's nothing weird about it there's nothing bitter or herbal or medicinal about it it's just a nice cup of tea that's a nice place to start I've actually been drinking English breakfast tea since I was a child. I always hated the taste of coffee when I was a kid. Loved tea. Loved the smell of coffee. Oh, yes. I would I would enjoy the smell of coffee all day, all night, any, any time. But the taste of it was always like, bleh, to me. But I always drank tea. I can remember having cups of tea um, when I was a child with my grandparents, with my mom. Yeah. It's a thing. Tea. For <laughs> been drinking tea for nearly half a century because, well, we had to wait to get me in, out of sippy cups first. But, yeah. Tea. <laughs> mm. It's got to cool off a little bit more, though. Do you have a go-to tea that you drink that's just sort of your everyday, you need a cup, nothing special, you just need that oh, cup of tea? Mine's English breakfast, and I love all the other varieties I've been trying. I'm looking up there because that's where they're stacked. But this is just my go-to. I even have some for my Keurig, my not Keurig machine, because it's not a Keurig. Um, that is English breakfast tea. Yeah, kind of hooked on it. Hmm. Thank you for coming by and enjoying a cup of tea. And just remember, every single day, take some time to sit down and have a cup of tea. It's time for tea. Even if you take five minutes for yourself, you deserve to take that time for yourself. I'll see y'all very soon with some more content, some snacks around the world, some crochet stuff, besides what I'm wearing. Oh, have a Band-Aid. Um, but yeah, you never know what you're going to hear or see right here on this channel. See y'all soon.